Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services. And what we got here is a Apple M1 computer. Uh, it's fairly new, probably about a month old. Somebody uh, upgraded their old computer and uh, they had somebody else, one of their relatives, transfer all of the information from the old computer to the new computer. In case of M1, you cannot do that because uh, the parameters on this computer, as far as how much disk space you got, are very weak. Plus, this is an M1 chip, not an Intel chip. So some of the programs will not work. Most of the programs will not work. Um, when they did the transfer, computers started working awfully. Um, there was no space left on a hard drive. What I want to show you is how to completely wipe the computer and uh, uh, start from scratch. Uh, the M1 computers are different than uh, their predecessors. You do not use the option key on your keyboard to go into the uh, restore menu, but I'll show you how it's done. So we'll shut down this computer. Uh, it is actually a lot simpler on the M1. Uh, you push and hold the power button and after you hear the sound it says right on the screen continue holding for startup options once it says loading you can let the button go before you do anything on a computer make sure you've removed the iCloud access you've uh, disconnected the computer uh, go to options continue and uh, you'll be presented with the standard uh, recovery options. Uh, on this computer, it's a cloud recovery, so just allocate a lot of time for the upgrades and updates and installations. Other than that, uh, it is fairly simple. Uh, you go to disk utility, you wipe your disk out, and uh, you reinstall Mac OS or you can reinstall from Time Machine depending on the problem. This particular computer uh, I had to do the Time Machine backup but only so I can have the files restored later manually. Um, the uh, computer is completely going to be wiped out. As I said the process is simple you go to disk utility, continue you get your uh, disk and uh, you just do erase. Hopefully this helps somebody. That's all I wanted to show, just to how to go into the uh, startup options and uh, wipe the computer. If you erase the disk, it will allow you to do that, but do not disconnect it from the iCloud. It will, during the activation, ask you for the iCloud activation make sure that you know the iCloud password and ID for the computer that you're working with. This has been true for a while, but just so you know, before you do anything, make sure you have the iCloud password and iCloud ID. Give me a like if you like it. It's just a short video on how to get into the startup options on M1 Max.